Hello, I'm Pan, and today I'm here to show you how to install and update Azalan's 2 if you already have it installed. Head on over to the Azalan Studio mod page, the SDK version. Scroll down the page till you see the installation word in the middle of the page. Follow the Python SDK install link. Once you're there, you want to hit release. You want to go over to releases, hit the Proton Exception Fix, scroll down, download the Python SDK. After that, you open it up, go over, you over to your Borderlands 2 folder. Drag and drop the Python SDK binary so into your Borderlands 2 folder. You can ignore my message of replace all files as I only have installed for the updating users. After installed, we'll download the newest version of Azalance 2. Download it and head on over to your Borderlands 2 base folder. Click on the zip file and drag it into your base Borderlands 2 while everything will install automatically. So we'll uh, be at Files, Manual Download, open it up, it'll be in a zip. It'll be different here. Drag and drop it. You can ignore the replace all files. Okay, this part of the video is for those that are updating from version 1.59 to version 1.60. So we're going to head on to the Borderlands 2 SDK mods. You can either open it up by going to the mod menu settings in game and hitting the O key. To open up your mod file, I'll go into a Borderlands 2 slash binary slash win32 slash mods folder. We're going to be deleting bl 2 fix. Delete constructor as it's no longer needed. Delete drop chance multiplier as it's a very cheaty mod. Or set the multiplier to zero. Or don't enable that at all. Spawn multiplier you can do the same with. Either delete it, don't turn it on. Or just keep the multiplier at 1 and don't mess with it. But we'll just be deleting it for the purposes of the video. Delete skill toggles and iridium lib as these mods cause problems with Krieg's skill toggle, skill, action skill. Iridium lib is a library for skill toggles, so we can move it safely. Why we delete these mods is because we're using a dialogue skipping mod over BL2 fix. Constructor is no longer needed because we uh, converted Bones items with uh, command extensions. Thank you Zeta Damon for the dialogue skipper and Bones for letting me convert your mod. Okay, back to the main part of the video. After extracting the folder into Borderlands 2 game, you want to launch your game. You should see a mods menu in the main Borderlands 2 menu. Click into it. You'll see a bunch of SDK mods here in the menu. A lot of mods here are optional and mainly quality of life mods, but the mods you want to enable is Dialog Skipper, Sandy Saver, and Python Part Notifier so you can identify the new parts easier. You can ignore the other mods I have here. I just pretend we're enabling them. Enable Dialog Skipper. Sanity Saver, and then Python Part Notifier. After enabling the previous mods I just listed, you can enable all the other mods if you want to for more quality life features and new cool things. For executing the BLC part, we'll want to get a new character to our first checkpoint, which is after first gun, the first gun mission. Once that's done, and it's required for every overhaul, you can go back to the main menu. And then X will open up the console key with tilde. You can ignore those extra things I just had there. And we'll type out exe execute exec aslans2 renew.blcm. We won't see any messages popping up the screen as the save command will just move as it causes problems offline mode on Steam or when shift is down. You should see BL2 Lasers mod active version 2.0. Additional notes, you can open up your console with tilde key and hit up on your arrow so you don't have to type it out every time. 
You'll want to execute the mod every time you launch a game before loading up an Aslan save so you don't lose yourself. After executing it, load up your, your previously saved character and you should see your new items in your inventory, a new skill tree, but for sanity's sake you check your badass rank screen and it should show running Aslan's 1.6. We can ignore these little things here because I'm just loading up a previously made save for sanity for easier sake. We'll check our badass rank screen, running Aslan's 2 v 1.6 so We'll check our skill tree, it's changed as well, and you should see new weapons as well. You'll have a Mordecai Sniper, Lilith's SMG, and Roland's Assault Rifle, and Clapchop's Repeater. If you see that message, congratulations, you're now running Aslan's 2. Go loop Pandora and have fun.